went so well at food like is there too much food the tent and then the fire alarm goes off i don't i'm drinking with him like where has the time gone hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of pokemon sleep if you are new here hi welcome i make pokemon sleep related videos and let's see what sort of pokemon comes up today we also have a lot of catching up to do and the holiday event also starts today so very very excited first things first though let's see what sort of pokemon show up if we got lucky and the event is being held in green grass aisles so make sure that you go there today Oh, that's the first time I've seen a Blastoise in my yard, I think. But I put a Jigglypuff incense because I'm trying to get rid of mine. And I also had like one more sleep style to uncover from her. So let's do that. I feel like my voice is a bit raspy from these this weekend's fun. So Saturday was my friend's miss event and then yesterday I took my little brother out for Korean barbecue to celebrate his birthday so that was a lot of fun as well. But you guys, my friend's miss event went so well. I can't be any more happy with how things went. I think a lot of people had a lot of fun. We had a lot of food and initially I was like, holy, did we order too much food? Like, is there too much food for this event? And when my guests came, they're like, whoa, this is a lot of food. Like, is there too much food for everyone? And then I was like, you know what? That's, that's kind of a compliment because you don't want to be the person where you don't have enough food and then have people say like, oh yeah, there wasn't enough food. I was like still hungry by the time I left. So, very glad actually that people felt that there was too much food. So I'm going to use my bonus biscuit on the so blue because I don't want to use my regular biscuits. I'll have to use that twice. And then I'm just going to end it there. So hopefully we caught something good. Also, it is pouring outside it is so gray it is foggy it is pouring and kind of sad i wanted to take a walk today just to like get some fresh air but it looks like that won't be happening anytime soon so we ranked up which is really nice We got a lot of dream shards. Oh, and look at the the backdrop for the winter event. It's so cute. That little um, Pikachu igloo in the back there with a candle. It's a naughty. We won't be using that one. Also, I think my Pokebox is like almost full so this is the holiday event happening on green grass isle and it looks like we were given no choice but to go there oh wait no never mind so it's the double dream shard event we went through all of this before but raspberry will be one of the favorite berries and we have special pokemon such as deli bird snover abama snow and a pikachu wearing a red hat so there's also a chance, uh, increased chance of certain Pokemon appearing, as it says here, during sleep research. But regardless of your sleep research that you get. And you may be able to meet shiny Pokemon. So let's do okay. Oops. Let's collect our sleep points. So I have 
a pretty good amount of poke biscuits for this event and I have a lot of sleep points so if I do run out of those biscuits I can purchase 30 more from the store oh let's pick up our daily gift let's see what we get two poke biscuits not bad yesterday I got 15 diamonds which is really nice And I have two more sleep styles to discover until I finish the mission. And I get like a hundred diamonds, a sleep camp ticket. Oh yes, let's check out our weekly summary. So I finished at Master 9, really great. Oh, and I got an A which is really nice too so I guess the napping really affected that although they patched that which is nice yep, so you'll see these are the maps and you'll see event happening right now so let's go here my area bonus is 45 oh new sound I won't be able to hear it until after edit but Salads? No. It's been so long since I've had a salad week. So, don't really remember what my salad lineup looks like or what my go to's were. Let's pick this up. Got 10 diamonds. Let me check how full my bag is. Oh, it's not full at all, so let's gather, pick everything up, and then change out our team. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a lot this morning. Usually, they gather way more. This is weird. But yeah, don't forget you guys always gather what your Pokemon has to drop before before switching it out. So it seems like this is my salad team. So let's do that. Probably will end up switching some people around. I don't think I need the Squirtle there anymore. Initially I had it there because I wanted to use its main skill. So that's why I'm kind of losing my voice from all of the fun. Okay, so I will be swapping out that Squirtle for my Larvitar Larry so I can continue making the overheat ginger salads. If anything, I make enough milk, or I will with my Vaporeon for the Mumu Caprez salad. But I make more with the ginger, so let's just start off by making this. And in, after this video, I'm going to have to see any salad recipes I could unlock. Because I think there's like one or two that I could make right now with the current ingredients that I've unlocked. And it's always fun making new recipes, so I can't wait till they drop more recipes and ingredients for us to discover I love the decorations like look at that little Pikachu snowman and the presents around the tree so we are at basic four really good start of our day Oh, and look, the tent is so cute. Oh, and instead of a star, it's a Pikachu on the top. That is so cute. Oh, and then you can see the Snorlax igloo here. And it's 11-11, so make a wish. And I'm done my wish. Oh, and there's even a little stocking. How precious. And you see the ornaments. On the tree there 
So great detail that Pokeball Snowball over there. So, so, so cute. All right, let's swap out the Squirtle for Larvitar Larry. Who is right here. Now, I haven't really decided uh, if I want to take advantage of the event to level up any Pokemon. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to switch out my Vaporeon for my Sylveon. So that my team maintains in good health. And to show off the shininess of it. Oh, but now I don't have any ingredient magnet Pokemon. Hmm. But I think it should be okay, right? I should be okay. I do have ingredient tickets to fall back on. And if not, I could always just swap, swap them around again. So let's see the research community and see what everyone got while I tell you guys about my weekend. So Saturday, I wake up early. I, I planned to give myself plenty, plenty ample of time to prepare for Friendsmas. Now, I didn't have much to make. I told myself that the food we can just order and I'll just like focus on appetizers, placing a charcuterie board together and desserts. So for the dessert I really, really wanted to make was this brown buttered toasted marshmallow rice krispie treat with flaky salt on top. And it's my first time making it. So I make it in the morning. It cools down. My boyfriend taste tests this and he loves it. And then I tasted it and I loved it. I outdid myself. I was very impressed with how it came out. So I was super happy to share those with my friends. I had like this cute um, dessert display platter, platter with a glass dome. So I just put the Rice Krispies in there. And then for more finger food, we have a charcuterie board, which not the best picture. Honestly, I had so much fun that I was just in the moment and I didn't take as much pictures or videos as I wanted to. So, Kind of sad, but there's always next time, right? And now we get to see what the holiday Pikachu looks like, which is so cute with its red hat. But yeah, this is what the charcuterie board looks like. Not the best picture, but it was my first time styling a charcuterie board. So I think I did pretty well. Now, what I didn't know about brie cheese, because I think this is my first time eating brie, but it molds so quickly because half more than half the brie was eaten so i had leftovers and i put it in a container and then i woke up the next day and it was moldy but i guess i read that like the more um moist the cheese is the quicker it is to mold so yeah now i know so there's that i also made some date wrapped bacon and i used maple bacon and that was also a hit. A lot of people really enjoyed that as well. And then we ordered like a party platter of fried Vietnamese stuff and pizza. And we also had friends who brought stuff like desserts, alcohol, more appetizers, more main dishes and foods. So that was really nice. And it just filled up our entire table and kitchen counter. So there was a lot of variety, a lot of food and a lot of desserts as well so i was really happy about that we even had like a christmas cake which is really cute and macarons as well but you guys so we are probably three hours away from the time that everyone is supposed to come i'm starting to make my maple bacon um dates and then the fire alarm goes off and i'm like holy cow is that me like did something happen but I knew it wasn't me because when I opened the oven, there was like no smoke that came out because if there was, I would feel it in my eyes. So I got nervous. I take the nap, take tea towel and I start like fanning our fire alarm thinking that it was us. 
And then my boyfriend calls the doorman and he's like, hey, um, about the fire alarm, like, can you tell us what's going on? And he was like, I don't know, but you should come downstairs. So we walk down all these flights of stairs to get to the lobby. And this is like the most we've seen people come out for a fire alarm. Uh, supposedly there's like a, a lot of false alarms here. So people are so used to like hearing it and they just decide to stay in. But I would say we were out for maybe 45 to an hour just waiting to see to hear news and then we were able to go back up so it had turned out that the 31st floor had a gas leak which is why we had to evacuate but thankfully no fire and everyone was safe so that's what happened now i get back to our place i have two hours left to get ready I was so sweaty from walking down in the stress and the cooking and making stuff all day that I was like, I need to shower. So I take a quick shower, I finish, I prepare the rest of the things. While that is happening, my boyfriend was picking up some last minute things and our desserts. So very thankful for him. And we were able to get everything done on time. And the rest is just waiting for friends to come. So I played nice music. People were slowly coming in and the rest of the night was just, you know, a lot of eating, drinking and a lot of desserts. And we also played a board game because one of our friends brought a board game as well, which was very fun, actually. And that was how the night went. I had so much fun hosting with my boyfriend. It was our first time. And it also meant that it was my first time giving a toast. So that was a lot of fun too. I just gave a toast to our friends who helped us move out earlier this year and the friends that we've maintained a connection with who still put in the effort with us. Congratulations, Alsir, on the shiny swallow. Of course, they would get a shiny on the first day of the event. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy. And then that was it. I think people left around one o'clock ish, which is great because that means they had a lot of fun, right? And then my best friend texted me the next day and she was like, good job. You did so, so well. Thank you for inviting us. So. Yeah, I'm really glad that people had a lot of fun and they stuck around for a long time. And it makes me so excited for hosting even more events for my friends and family in the future because it is just so much fun. Like the attention to detail to make everyone feel comfortable. Like whenever someone came, I made it a point to really take their like coats and scarves and hang it up for them. Um, show them like where they can find critical things in the house that they need like where they can wash their hands or like um in the washroom so for the washroom we have like things scattered on our counter so we have like our face washes hand soap and other skincare stuff right and i've noticed before when other people would come they would get confused which one is which so sometimes i see that they use a cleanser like a face cleanser instead of the hand soap so I decided to avoid any confusion. I was going to just keep the bare minimum on the sinks. Just hand soap, uh, a spray for the washroom, and that was all they needed. Also, I made sure to clean, out, clean all the hand towels as well so that our guests have clean hand towels to, to use. And also to give everyone a tour of the house just because I feel like the more familiar you are with your environment, the more comfortable you are as well, right? So yeah, it was just so much fun. I I am very happy with how, how it went. But yeah, just sad that there wasn't um, any pictures. Well, another, another thing that I did, because we had a lot of food, I also kept a candle um, being warmed up so that it kind of helps make the place smell more fresh and to you candle lovers out there I highly recommend you get 
a candle lamp warmer. So not only does this function as something aesthetic, it's just super useful. It provides light, the warm kind of lighting, and it also warms your candle. And I've noticed with this, the scent of the candle disperses far wider than it would if you were to just burn your candle. Like when you're burning your candle, the, the scent kind of smells different, right? But when you're warming your candle with a, a candle warmer, the scent stays true because there's no burning of the wick. There's no like smoke being generated from the fire as well. So highly recommend you guys get one if you like using candles. And there's so many styles on Amazon to choose from. So you're bound to find one that you like. And for Christmas shopping, I decided to just ask my family members what they want, right? I remember telling you guys this, but my brother finally told me what he wanted and he wants scented candles so i was like you know what? i got you i know the best scented candles and i'm even gonna get him a candle warmer so that he doesn't have to worry about lighting it up or forgetting about it you know because the last thing you want is a fire hazard so yeah that's my little side note about candles another thing my brother my little brother's birthday yesterday so he turned 19 years old. We took him out to Korean barbecue. I feel like it's kind of a tradition now. When he turned 18, we took him out to the same place. We ate with him, I drank with him. And at, early this morning, I was just thinking about last night and I was like, how funny that I started off by changing his diapers, putting him to sleep, burping him, you know, older sister babysitting duties. And now I'm drinking with him. Like, where has the time gone? It's so crazy, but it's also such a blessing to grow old with them and see how he has grown throughout the years. So, you know, he's like in the thick of that teenage years where he'll give me one word responses on text and sometimes it hurts, but I try not to take it personally. But we just had so much fun yesterday at the barbecue. We ate a lot. Um, me and him, we drank and we just enjoyed the night with my boyfriend and our little sister So the rest of my family members were too tired to go and they also had work the next day, which is understandable So yeah, very intimate little gathering. I had so much fun this weekend I hope you guys took the time to hang out with people as well Do something that you enjoy and just had like a lot of fun now today I still have quite the amount of cleaning to catch up on. Um, a couple videos ago, I told you guys about the dishwashing machine issue that we've had. So the replacement part came in two days ago, right? And my landlord, instead of hiring, instead of hiring a maintenance guy to come do it, he asked us to do it because he said that it's too expensive to hire a maintenance guy. And it's just like so weird, like we, we pay rent to you, you have obligations as our landlord to take care of your appliances and you're asking us to do that. So I'm like, you know what, whatever. But it, it's so annoying. And I was talking to my therapist about this a couple days ago, like dealing with the landlord for the first time when you're renting. And she asked me like, did you meet with him before agreeing to sign it? And I'm like, you know what? I never even thought to meet with the person that owns it, but moving forward, I think I would like to have a talk with them, like just to see how easy they are or difficult they are, because you don't know what you're getting yourself into, right? You're like, you're locked into this one year relationship with them and anything can go, really. So, yeah, lesson learned. We know next time now to do that. And yeah, I'm just kind of annoyed that we have to do it so i've been washing things by hand which is not an issue i've been washing things by hand my by hand my whole life this is actually like first time having a dishwasher to use but man my hands are like my thumb cracked and it was bleeding but now it's healing up so and i don't like using using dish gloves because i don't have space to put them anywhere afterwards and i don't want it collecting mold and it just kind of like aches me out but Yep, got a lot of cleaning to do. <laughs> and that is my week. I hope you guys had a fun week. If you had something that you did, let me know, share it with me. 
I pressed that button too quickly, so I don't even know what I got from that. But super excited to see what is in store for this holiday event. What sort of shiny Pokemon we will catch. Some of you already got a head start on getting a shiny on the first day, so congratulations to you. Thank you so much for listening to me in this video ramble on about random things. Uh, tomorrow, I want to talk about this show I was watching called Dubai Bling. So if you've watched Bling Empire, they, they did Dubai Bling. There's two seasons now. And oh my god, there's a lot of thoughts that I have and a lot that I want to share with you guys. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys so much for your support and for watching this. And I can't wait to talk even more in tomorrow's video. Take care, good luck. I cracked my thumb. <laughs> Take care, good luck, have fun, and goodbye.